And so your liver is also throughout the day, it's going to be your first energy. Your body, when it really needs to release glycogen on demand, like today, it's going to do that, but it's really monitoring everything. And so it's kind of like an energy grid, simplest thing I can give you. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if everything's neutral, you're using energy, you're just storing it. I'm just not going to do much. We're just going to do my usual thing. But it looks like your energy is getting kind of low. I'm going to pump out. I'm going to break down. I'm going to use the glucose I've got. I'm going to break down the glycogen. If I've got some fatty liver, I'm going to start mobilizing that even into energy. Okay? And into the circulation so you got it. Conversely, though, if it's like it's getting hot in here, you got a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And you could be your phenotype, lean, mean, strong, and not know that you've got an energy problem that's backing up in the liver. So it's like, whoa, he's got a lot of glucose. And why one person... Their phenotype stays like this versus starts getting bigger first before they start getting fatty liver. We're still trying to figure that out. But somebody could look just like you and have fatty liver and not know it because the liver is trying to regulate that. The, that is a tie into the cholesterol too. An unhappy, unhealthy liver, there's a tie over to that too.